Hi everybody, good morning. I'm uh, continue doing uh, the cyber security one on one. Some uh, some rooms I still didn't do it. Today Sunday I so said let me do something fast. I'm doing this one. Uh, Monica Link CVE 2 uh, this one for Triac Me, uh, Audi 2, because it's a Windows uh, CVE, Rogani to Monica Link, Monica, what they call it, spell it, let's use credential using. Uh, of course, now it's uh, re relatively new, last year, February 13. It's a critical uh, attack complexity is low, the scoring in 9.8. Uh, effective version to 2021 enterprise 2019 and 16 uh, the room give us access to two lab because we have the Linux machine this is your attacker machine uh, lab practice uh, and they give us also the Windows machine with username tryhackme and this uh, uh, password I'm accessing the Windows machine using X3 RDP, so I connect with the IP, username, password, ignore set this and then make resolution so I can zoom and and that. So we have all of that. So now uh, if we start the machine, of course, uh, let's do our setup. So of course we have the machines here. Okay, if we go in the introduction, uh, what severity, we, as we said, now the severity is critical, so we can use that one question quickly now. Uh, the next question, of course, the whole point of this CVE, um, this is free room, is basically uh, Microsoft Remote Code Execution Vulnerability, and that's uh, Microsoft page. Uh, the Monique, if you guys want to read about it, this is URL for it, for it. So the idea is Monique is how to can open like application like uh, Skype, like in this case Skype and all of that. But usually Microsoft always pop up this warning. Uh, this pop up result in Outlook protected view, uh, which is mean it warn you. Uh, by using, f that's the whole point, using this file usually to connect to SMB for example share, Monique link in our hyperlink, we can introduce, instruct Outlook to attempt to access the file, such for example less. And then uh, this one basically because SMB need authentication, so it will uh, make Outlook uh, send authentication, which is mean NTNM hash. However, to protect view, catch it and block it attempt. But if you, that's the whole trick. I think is John Hammond when he saw the tweet when he said one character is CVE. So this he said this he will have characters CVE. So the entity here exists by modifying the hyperlink and adding like there. And here, um, uh, we are attacker. We can provide the Monica link in this native for the attack. No, this share does not need to be exist. So basically, doesn't it just need to have the IP when it's sent? We can catch it that side. So remote code is possible because Monica link uses a component object model in Windows. I'm more doing live because this part is more for. Um, Introduction to cybersecurity. So basically, uh, if someone wants to read more about the subject, he can go online. So here we just practice how we can do uh, using Responder, how to send an email, so Python, uh, using Wireshark, things like that. So uh, we can start now. So for example, what Monica link would use? In? Of course, we'll be using the file one. We just spoke about it now. And then the special character that we will use is that one. Now, exploitation of our lab. Of course, now, uh, as I said, we have the Windows machine. Uh, I have the Outlook here. Let's start uh, because they already have a setup for Outlook, the mail server, and all of that was available now. Let's first start Outlook. This is uh, simulate the victim machine, so the one that basically you will send an email to. Okay, we're well, waiting. We can go to uh, this one. Uh, the, the 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 one we'll use for is the same as the one for the room. This one, that's the link for the GitHub of it. So uh, the one is 
is this one so basically is the same things so we can just go to this uh, to the exploit let's copy it okay now save now we need to open it because we need to do some change on it so vim exploit uh, which part? we have the we already slum set up the sender email uh, the victim email because the victim in machine then of course we need to change these things we to make it to our uh, uh, IP address of our uh, attack box so we can do the, the attack IP my attack IP is always uh, attack from is the right corner so we can just say 10.10 .10. this is my machine 136.33 uh, I think there's another thing we need to show the mail server, the machine mail server is this one uh, 10.10, the IP address, let's mute this the IP address of the machine is uh, this one 21346 is the Windows machine, 21346 so we got that, so we have this machine this script basically his is a job for the script is to uh, it's uh, um, basically sending an email with this uh, where's the text yeah with well, this is the t this is the HTML text and then send an email and of course you just need a password to send it to the mail server which is the Windows machine so we have the window machine, I don't want to uh, close that for now we don't have any email so there's just a test email so the setup lab is already tell us like uh, um, well we need to run our responder, our IP in attack box of course the, the IP address uh, um, what's the IP address of the machine usually we uh, in uh, attack box we use this uh, ANC5 so we just need to run the command in ANC5 so we can use responder responder is already installed in machine so minus I ENS ENS5 which is the machine IP so if we leave there leave it there that's fine don't worry about it and then of course we did this so we can do Python uh, this is 3.9 in my case exploited it asks you for for the attacker password in the setup uh, the email for this client is already set up for us uh, we all of this uh, we give us the password is attacker already so attacker so now the email delivered so basically this one is set up to send an email so if we go to our machine we got that so the question is if I click now what happened now you click and then it's dead so if I come here I got no something is dodgy what happened it's like a 10 10 136 33 huh you know it's uh, okay we can't find that's fine we don't it's like we didn't click or something um, if I go oh we got that skip previous capture so it's okay we got the so now we captured the remember the try hack me is the user because the machine we know the username for the machine because we already have this so it is it possible because this one is not in rock rock usually for testing because now if I capture this let's create a custom password so if I come now So if I say Vim, for example, create, uh, let's say my password. 
just for testing, uh, I don't want to. Uh, we can put our password that we use because now usually, uh, if if usually if I want now, um, I can just do hash dot txt. I can come there. I can just come copy it. And I can just say save it there, and I can just say John. And because we know the format, it's uh, Windows uh, um, um, N NTLM version two, and I can just give it to uh, word list. Usually, if we do word list, uh, usually word list we say rock you word but the password is uh, that password I don't think it's in a user share word list um, usually you say for example rock you and then you can say the hash and, and leave it run but uh, we know to, um, uh, that password I don't think it's in rock you uh, but if you have a good uh, password this password I think is strong so we can just for testing purposes, we can just use our demi password that we just used on that file. We call it uh, pass.txt, you know, because that password we know it exists, so it can't find it. So it was that's how you crack it. Of course, now um, if we go back to the room, um, so we did exploit, we did responder, we did outlook. Uh, basically we did all of them. Uh, what is the name of the application we can use to capture the hash is of course a responder. And then what type of hash is captures the the, NT, the captage is this one NT net NTM version two. We can also try something else. We can try for example um, uh, we, we, this is a responder. We can also use uh, SMB server, uh, we can say SMB my SMB2 uh, support and we can use share uh, folder, let's say share the temp for example no no hold on, let's kill, uh, kill responder Cancel responder because they use the same port. Uh, we can use this one. Now we can go to our link again. We can click on it again. That's fine. If I come back to my machine, you can see we have a couple of them. I think it's negotiation or something. You know. Uh, so you can take any one of them. It's not the same one we have before. For example, if I take the oh no, we need to take the whole thing. I can take this one. Uh, I can come here and say vim hash uh, hash two dot txt, and I can come there. I can do this. I can run the same things in hash two. And you should pick it up so you can pick because for us is a password. We already put a password in the file. Also, what we can do is we can capture the. We know it's a uh, NC5. Let's not make it uh, noisy. Uh, let's so we know sure that everything is working. Uh, this one trusted. Uh, this one that is done. So we know when it start. Let's ask uh, Wireshark to listen to that let's click quickly before we make too much noise okay it should went through uh, let's kill the correction and that's first an SMB2 and then yeah, we can see we, ha we can catch it here in the request Security blob, uh, where is it? Uh, not this one, where is uh, request? Interior, interior, no, no, hold on. 
Nigush setup request and TLS. Uh, that's the the Antinim SQL Server provider. See what is that screenshot? Why am I having a detection? You can okay this Yara you can use if you have uh, using Yara of course. Uh, where is uh, why I'm not seeing the same thing? Is it uh, in the status request user triag me? Um, well, that's the request when you start sending the the request uh, security blob and. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, the request in net token tag. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, this is the request. Uh, NTDMH response. The token, and we have a response. Yeah, you can catch it also from here. So we have Wireshark, we can detect it. You can have uh, your Yara. Yeah, 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 of course, you can use Yara if you're using uh, Yara rules. Uh, of course, we can find remediation. Of course, the best thing is do the full update Microsoft uh, Tuesday update. Uh, what else we can do in this room? There's not much. But I like this lab. So basically, the lab I is good. So. Uh, you you can it's good also to put, to do wireshark so you can see the the protocols in case uh, blue team or something. Uh, then we have uh, this one. Okay, it's coming again, so you can see it in this. So you can use either responder. Uh, you have a responder there. You can have wireshark, and then of course you have our friend Windows machine. Okay, guys, this is a quick, uh, it's not uh, too much deep on it, uh, so it's part of the uh, part of uh, Cybersecurity 101 if you just want to start to finish them. Okay, guys, thank you very much and have a good day.